morning. Sharon here from Ageless Restyling. Thank you so much for joining me for a whatever happens today. <laughs> As you can see, I'm in a different location. I'm actually on a mini vacation in um, Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, between Pigeon Forge and Gatlinsburg, Gatlinsburg, Tennessee. I, um, I decided to just get away. It was an impromptu vacation. Didn't really plan it one week before my birthday. I said, you know what? I want to get away and do something for my birthday. I always go somewhere for my birthday. And this year, I don't know what happened. I didn't really plan anything. And then at the last minute, I decided that I wanted to get away for my birthday. So here I am. I am getting ready um, to go out to... Um, when, I, when I come to like small towns in Tennessee, I like to go to antique store. That's one thing y'all don't know about me. I love antiquing. I love antique store. I like to find just unique, interesting pieces that nobody else may have in their home. And right now I'm on the hunt for a vase to put on my dining room table so I could do a beautiful flower um, presentation. So I decided that while I'm here, let me hit up some antique store to see what I can find. And then I love vintage jewelry. Not supposed to be shopping for jewelry, but let's see. <laughs> but my the main thing I want to focus on is finding that uh, the vase so I could put on my dining room table for floor arrangement. So I'm getting ready for that. I'll take you guys along with me. But before we leave to do that, let's roll back so I could show you guys me preparing today putting on my makeup. Let's roll the footage back. So let's do a quick makeup for the day. A quick everyday makeup. Always start with my all-nighter. I know that, <clears throat> you know, it's a finishing spray, but I like to start off with it because it really works on my skin. And I usually do that with my finishing sprays. Okay, this is gonna be quick. <laughs> and my primer is gonna be my Laura Mercier um, Pure Canvas Primer. Just a little, little. Ready? <laughs> That's on. I'm loving my skin right now. It's looking plump. <laughs> Not bad for a 62 year old, huh? <laughs> Just had my birthday yesterday. Okay. So let's start, let's add some concealer and I'm gonna use my, um, who's this one? Oh yeah, this is my Becker concealer and this is the one that I travel with. It stays in my travel pouch, it never comes out. And um, whenever I travel, this is what I use. And I like it. Cause it gives me that one, well almost one, I am gonna, add a little highlighter. You see how it just covers up those that, that dark area under my eye? And this darkness under my eye, it's hereditary <laughs> from my father. All of us have it, have it, all the sisters. We struggle with this dark under eye. But guess what? We have eyes to see, so <laughs> I'm okay with that. I'm also gonna just put a little bit right here. We also have some discoloration. And on vacation, um, I don't really use foundation. My concealer does most of the work for me because I use it to cover up the discoloration because so I don't use foundation while on vacation. That's just another step that I can't be bothered with. 
when I'm on vacation. Okay. I forgot to wipe my sponge. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. But my damp sponge, and it's just damp, then I just kind of buff out the edges of this a bit. And now I'm going to use my, um, my Too Faced. And this is more of a highlighter to give me some brightness on the hair. And I just use a little dab. And then let that sit for a minute because the Too Faced is extremely hydrating. So it could sit for a moment. And then I'm getting my Fenty cream, which I use as my contour. And to minimize my beautiful forehead, <laughs> I love it, but I want to minimize it. Put a little bit, dab some on there. So now I go in and, and blend this up. Just dab it with my conceal with my damp sponge. Whatever is left over on the brush on my eyebrows. And then just come back in with a damp sponge and just very gently dab. <laughs> okay. And now I come in with some powder. And this is what I use on vacation. I use my powder, I don't use any um, foundation. And this is the um, Cover FX powder. <clears throat> and I have them in um, three different shades because you know, my face is literally three different shades. <laughs> Can I just add that back? around the perimeter this is the middle shade so I just take this around the perimeter of my face okay and I come in with the one shade lighter than that one and I use that one on the inside of my face to kind of set the um, concealers that I use and I'm very very light with it it's not heavy at all And after that's done, I spray one more time with my all-nighter. Because I'm not putting on a lot. But what I do put on, I want to I want it to make sure that it stays on. And I go on with my brows. And Normally on vacation, I don't set my brows. I just let them be natural. 
but I do fill them in some more. I just need to find my, yeah, there it is. Eyebrow pencil. I really do take time with my brows. Even though I'm not setting them, I still try to take time with them because I can see the, my brows, the frame from my face. And that's really what it is. It's the frame for your face. Okay, that's done. Now, let's do just a quick little phone, um, eye makeup. Not a lot. And I have my Too Faced. This was a Christmas palette that I've, and I use it as my travel palette because you see how nice and small it is? And it has all the colors in there that I could use while I'm traveling. So this stays in my travel kit. It never leaves. It's my travel palette because it's just nice and compact. Y'all know me from my other video. I'm all about blending, <laughs> blending, blending, blending. All right, and then I'm going to use this shade right here on the top. Just dab a little bit. And this is a pretty neutral look. Or natural. Neutral, natural. <laughs> then I'm gonna go in. Let me if I can find the brush I'm looking for, I can't find it, but I oh, here it is. <clears throat> With the this darker shade and just <coughs> do a little in my outer corner. And I'll come back with my blending brush and just blend. This is not the brush I wanted. Okay, well, we'll use this one. <clears throat> I blended out a little too much. I mean, I came out a little bit too much. I'll fix that later. Okay. gonna get this color right here and I'm gonna put it in my inner 
please. I have to turn off the air conditioner here because this thing is loud. No, I'm getting warm. <laughs> so I may have to turn it back on and it may just have to be loud. Okay. Where are you? You know what? Let me go with this. I'm going to use the same color that I used in my crease. of my liner. with my Laura Mercier, the little travel size, and I'm going to just pick up just a tad, just a smidgen. Clean up under the arm. my the darkest shade of my um cover f x compacts the darkest of them all and just do a little bit of contouring on my nose so slightly So essentially these are compacts I travel with because I don't use foundation I use these and they're in three different shades and they always stay in my travel makeup kit and so I am going to put on my here we go this shade of my Laura Mercier, the medium deep. Oh, here it is. This is what I'm looking for. I just finished studying. Excuse me, y'all. I have the sniffles. <laughs> Sorry, back. <laughs> again with my all nighter and 
and nine magnets. You know, with my Mac chestnut. I should have moisturized my lips while I was doing my makeup, but oh well. <laughs> um, let's put some mascara on. We do mascara. I was going to bathing. If I want to do lash or not, no, we we'll mascara. And this is at uh, Rihanna's Bad Girl Body. I'm gonna baddie. Put that off for you. Y'all know mascara is a whole production for me. <laughs> yeah, it's the Bad Girl Bang and the travel size. first layer you know I'm not finished then I come in with my Vario the travel size Okay, and now for the lower lash. I'm trying hard not to suck my tongue. I, I was a tongue sucker <laughs> growing up. And I find my, I only do it when I'm doing my makeup and I'm focused. I find myself sucking my, my tongue and I'm trying not to do that <laughs> on camera. Let's wrap this up. Um, let's see. Let's put some red lips. So uh, I'm gonna wear some lip gloss. Or do I wanna let's see what lipstick do I have in my travel case? Do I have any? Hmm. Um, no, I hmm. I don't really have any color. This was a last minute trip that I really didn't plan for. So I just grabbed whatever was in my travel case. Cause I keep my travel case pretty packed, ready to go at the blink of an eye. 
but sometimes I just have to maybe update my lipsticks in there and I didn't this time I just brought whatever was in the travel case so I think I'm gonna go there is this um 100% pure this fruit pigment lip balm I'm gonna put this one on because it's also a lip moisturizer it's a lip lip balm with color with that all right let's pop some earrings on i'm going to be wearing my jade earrings today i'm wearing a black dress today so this jade will add some color is done I have all my two necklaces that I'm gonna wear now let's get dressed <laughs> okay so you saw the footage of me putting on my makeup so let's go ahead and get dressed for the day so today it's gonna to be rather 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 easy simple I'm just wearing this little black dress it's um, Max Edition, and I, I want to wear it because it, it's it's cute, it's simple, it's easy, it's thrown on down, so let's throw this on. Okay, the dress is on. It's easy, it's breezy, it's simple, it's perfect, it's just what I need. And I think my green, uh, my jade um, hoop kind of just gives this dress the color that I want it along with the black and white. All right, so y'all know me. Those who know, know. <laughs> this is my shoes for the day. This is what I call comfortable heels. This is what I've been wearing while I've been here sightseeing. I have been running around between Pigeon Forge and Gatlinsburg in these heels, and they are so comfortable for me. <laughs> now, let me step back so you can see. Can you guys see? <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> Maybe I'll take a picture so you guys can see the full effect. Let's see. Ah. <laughs> Let me, you know what? Let me put the camera down so you can see the shoes. Yeah, so here they are. And these are very, very, very comfortable. I tell you, I've been running around the city for the past three days. This is my fourth day here. In these, this is with my run around shoes and it works for me <laughs> okay so this is my bag for today i'm you know bringing my big mcm bag today and this will be the look as i run around pigeon forge tennessee i'm going to take you guys with me to check out some of the um antique stores and hopefully 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 I can find that vase, vase, whichever way you, want, way you want to pronounce it, that I'm looking for. Oh, let me add one thing, my sunglasses. It's going to be Stella. <laughs> so it's going to be my Stella today. It's an absolutely stunning, stunning day in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. The weather has been brilliant i tell you god delivered oh stunning stunning sunny shiny beautiful beautiful day it's 
been up and uh, it didn't go over the 80s or anything like the average has been like 80, 81. So I could not have asked for a better day, a better weekend for my birthday while I'm on my mini vacation. So this is my look for today. <laughs> As I head out on my adventures in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. I'm fascinated by things that have just surpassed the test of time. The store is absolutely beautiful. Look at these cloak cover ups. You guys see that? How stunning that is. What I love is all these trunks. All the collection of trunks. And the timepiece, the stones. So I just pulled up to the antique mall. Oh my gosh. Let's see if I find what I'm looking for here. Okay, but I'm getting sidetracked now. I see jewelry. Oh, I have that piece. That piece back there, I have one similar to that. Oh, but look at all of these. Sterling silver and it's 20% off. <laughs> oh wow okay let's walk around don't get sidetracked Sharon yeah I know oh did you guys know I have a thing for antique jewelry especially um, antique brooches okay I'm getting sidetracked by the jewelry. Let's walk around and see if we find a vase, which is what I'm supposed to be looking for. There's a lot of knickknacks. See a whole bunch of jugs. I wonder if they have, because if the open is big enough, I don't think these are opening. I could also use these as vases. Yeah. Yeah, but no. Gosh, this one would be nice, but the, oh, it's, it's too wide, the opening. is too wide. I remember I said it at Mason. And Aaron Mason and Oh 
look at this pile. I need to stay on track, I'm not, not to get sidetracked with the jewelry. But this is, this one is big. <laughs> okay. Do you know when you go, when you, when I go vintage and you go through these baskets, you find the most interesting things. But. This one has anything that's interesting to me. Because sometimes you can find some really neat pieces when you start digging through these baskets. I have found, I have been lucky sometimes finding some unique, interesting pieces. I'm looking for something like this. Not this one, but a vase similar to this. How much is this one? This one is $44.99. And then what is it? Then 20% off. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, what do y'all think? Well, even this one, I this one is interesting to me. Can you picture that? Is it too big for a dining room table? I don't think so. I think it just make a wonderful statement. And then all some big plant um, um, flowers in it. How much is this one? Is that 44 or 74? I don't have my glasses on y'all. Let me see what, how much is it? Um, I think this one is, can y'all see? <laughs> I think it was a $74.99. Because I, I think of that. But this one is $40. Where is the price? This one is $44.99 and then 20% off. It's something like this I'm looking for. It's just that the color is wrong. I wanted cream. Gosh, if this was cream, I would get it. That's what I'm looking for, but I want it in cream. Well, all is not lost. Let's just continue looking. Yeah, that color wouldn't work for me. I need cream. Oh, that's what I'm looking for, but I need it in cream. <sighs> okay. Well, maybe I'll get lucky with the cream. Look at this. Wouldn't this be a unique handbag? It's $16. I mean, can you see this as a handbag? It is heavy. That's the only thing that gives me pause about it. it it's kind of heavy. But I think this would be so interesting as a handbag. Let's open it and see. I'm thinking about this as a handbag. It's different. And it's only $16. The only thing that I'm concerned about is the handle. But I think I could, you could see like, you see, I don't know if you guys could see the handle as I come in, this is coming out. But I think I can fix that. Um, everything else seems to be really intact. So the handle is a little questionable. And then, because I got big hands and my hands don't necessarily go all the way around it. But, and then it's a little heavy. But I think it's, you know, for going out to, 
a dinner or something we're not really gonna be lugging it for long with an outfit it's such a conversation piece it's different i don't know y'all i might have to hold on to this I, uh -uh. wait a minute there's another one in there too up there do you see it let me see if i could get that one let me put this on this one is big I like it, but I, pre I prefer the smaller one. The only thing is this one, my big hands could really go through it and hold it properly. Gosh, yeah. Now this one's a little bit too big. This one is 22. Okay, I just arrived at the green old deal. I don't have a lot of time in this one. They close in 30 minutes. But they have some. This is a really big one. I may have to come back here tomorrow. Oh, there. Look at all this. Okay, I'm getting sidetracked. I know. I'm not. So, this is not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for my my vase. But they have so many interesting things here. And this one is huge. This is where I needed to have been earlier today. Look, look how big this one is. And I only have 30 minutes. I can't do it in 30 minutes. I might have to come back here tomorrow. But let's just do a quick rush through here. Look at all the vintage jewelry. Oh my goodness, I have that. I have this pen and the earrings. Oh, that's interesting. Can y'all tell I'm a vintage girl? I have that set. Wow, okay. <laughs> All of this. I love a vintage pen brooch. Wow. Okay, let's do a quick run through. Okay, I don't care about this section, this section now. Oh, but wait a minute, that's over here. I don't have enough time. <laughs> oh, I like those earrings, the gold one right there. That's, that's my jam. Look at all these pins. I'm a fanatic when it comes to vintage brooches and pins. Oh, look at all those down there. Are you guys saying, Sharon, you're looking for a vase? Because that's what I'm saying to myself in my head. Sharon, you're looking for a vase. And these prices are really good. are good did they start turning off the light <laughs> giving people a heads up that listen we're closing in 30 minutes you need to get your stuff and get out of here I have to come back here tomorrow So we're out because, yeah, I just, I need more time, but we'll be back tomorrow. Well, here we are at the Hatfields and the McCoy <laughs> Dinner Feud. This place is so interesting. You could come here and have dinner. the steam <laughs> coming through
let's go take a pic. Look, they even got the farm animals here. This place is interesting. Look at the goat. <laughs> I just realized they got all the animals here. They have the chickens, the goats. <laughs> Look, the goats are just chilling. <laughs> They're like, don't bother me. Okay, let's go around to find some the chickens. Yeah, there go the chickens. <laughs> I hope the goats are not for dinner. If it was Jamaica, they would be. Curry goat, anybody? <laughs> Here we have the Titanic. Thank you. And until next time, this is Sharon saying bye-bye. <laughs>